Happy holidays and welcome to the December 2022 Walther's New Product Express. In the spirit of gift giving season, we're operating at maximum carrying capacity with 16 brand new announcements. Everything from diesels and freight cars to the track that they operate on. Let's see what's in Santa's sack. Few locomotives saw as diverse a history of usage as the mighty EMD SD9 has. Touring industrial stops and branch line service, providing push power as a helper, pulling tremendously heavy ore consists, or trolling about in yard work, SD9s did their job in style thanks to their attractive 1950s and 1960s paint schemes. Our newest batch of HO scale replicas from Walther's Proto deliver all that extraordinary pulling power decked out in eight gorgeous new paint schemes. Each unit features prototypically accurate details like the Great Northern's fuel tank breather pipe and winterization hatch with the GN style walkway, or Burlington's trademark light package with piled dual sealed beam headlights and front dual gyro light. For the first time ever, we're offering the model in Chicago and Illinois Midland, making four of the five units they owned available in this run. In Southern Pacific, we're offering three different paint schemes and detail configurations, following their 150-unit roster from delivery all the way through the 1970s SD9E rebuilds and renumbering. Finally, for Masabi Road, we're offering units decorated both for the large circle logo and the arrowhead scheme. Both will feature a new working beacon appropriate to its era and a wealth of other authentic spotting features that you'll enjoy while pulling long ore consists in your HO scale operations. All right, let's be honest, you have to at least have an idea what the next announcement is. Couple our newest run of Minnesota Taconite ore cars to those Misabi SD9 units, and you're well on your way to having a new ore train for HO scale operating sessions. Based on cars rebuilt with side extensions, to handle lighter Taconite pellet loads, these well-weighted cars model prototypes seen in service from the 1960s to today. Words to live by, you can never be too rich or too thin or have too many ore cars. Like potato chips, one just isn't enough, and your consists can always use a few new units. We're offering four packs in three different DM and IR paint schemes, the Thunderbird logo scheme, the Round logo safety first scheme, as well as in a patch scheme. They're also available this winter in Burlington Northern, Great Northern, and Milwaukee Road. Next up, one of my favorite oxymorons in locomotive nomenclature. Now available from Walther's mainline, six new paint schemes on the HO scale EMD GP9 Phase 2 locomotive with a high, short hood. Based on as-built units from the mid to late 1950s, the Walther's mainline model was designed with a prototype accurate scale width hood in all the right contours. Each locomotive is modeled with or without dynamic brakes as appropriate to the road along with front and rear footboards or front plow and flat rear pilot as appropriate. They pull like the Dickens and are coming this spring in Chessy, Detroit, Toledo and Ironton, Northern Pacific, Pennsylvania, Santa Fe, and Western Maryland. With great power comes a great number of freight cars. That's a saying, right? It's, it's a real thing. Prototype 40-foot ACF modernized welded boxcars roamed the earth in the thousands from the late 1960s into the 1980s. Rebuilt to comply with the safety standards of the time, the differences are easy to spot, with their short ladders on the A end and the lack of running boards on the roof. The model features the characteristic Stanray diagonal panel roof even more parent sans running board. Add to that the 10 panel welded body and the late Stanray 4.4 improved dreadnought ends, and these general service boxcars stand out in a consist from their AAR contemporaries. Our HO scale model is coming this winter for Atlantic Coastline, Detroit and Mackinac, Erie, and Rock Island. Looking for a box that served heavier industries, then our next car is perfectly fit for the job. Sure to carry a heavier presence in consist from the 1960s to the 2000s, 60-foot Pullman Standard Auto Parts boxcars are perfect for serving HO scale auto industries from branch line located OEM manufacturers all the way through final automotive assembly plants. Built with 10-foot and 6-foot doors for easier loading and unloading of materials, they were well suited for weighty loads like engines, transmissions, and brake drums, just to name a few. Coming this spring, they're available in CNNW, Conrail, Mopac, Norfolk Southern, Southern Railway, and SP. If your operations take place in a more modern setting, then our next three announcements will have you beaming. 
Center beam flat cars have become popular additions to modern Casas due to their seemingly ubiquitous nature. Cars like our 72-foot Walther's mainline model look great, loaded or empty, thanks to their fascinating center beam design. Models are equipped with one of two different center beam styles appropriate to the railroad. Earlier built cars are equipped with the center beams featuring oval cutouts, commonly referred to as opera windows. Later built cars are equipped with an open truss center beam design to further reduce the overall weight of the car. Both versions look great when modeled with Scenemaster wrapped lumber loads, marked with wrappings from many different sawmills, and the car is coming this spring, decorated for eight different railroads split evenly between the two different center beam styles. Our next hopper provides an excellent running mate for center beam flats and mixed consists. Seen in service from 1972 to today, thousands of NSC 4550 cubic foot hoppers hauled grain and potash all over North America. Walther's Mainline's 59-foot cylindrical hopper, based on this prototype, features see-through running boards, detailed roof hatches, brake gear and end ladders, and trough or round-style loading hatches as appropriate per scheme. This newest production run provides an excellent opportunity to add to your fleet with new numbers from Canadian Pacific and Canadian National, Canadian Wheat Board, Skolar, and Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan, Chicago and Northwestern, National Railways of Mexico, and finally, Toronto, Hamilton, and Buffalo. Give me more modern, you say? Absolutely, one more modern freight car coming right up. A must-have model for any HO scale layout from the 1980s to the present, the Walther's mainline 53-foot gondola will look great serving heavy industry, manufacturing, and other trackside customers. As part of its successful Railbox program, Trailer Train designed and built 53-foot gondolas especially for the demands of the steel industry. They were then used in a nationwide pool service, with many later leased and re-lettered by new operators. The prototypes were built tough for handling scrap, pipe, beams, and other similar large bulk loads. Likewise, the HO scale model is built to withstand handling during operating sessions while providing smooth tracking performance thanks to a die cast metal weighting. Not only that, but they're great looking models, available in six different paint schemes including Railbox itself. Next up, a double dose of freight safety with an international flavor. Protect your HO scale freight trains with cabooses modeling international car company prototypes. We're offering two different Walther's mainline models of differing designs. The first, a wide vision caboose introduced in the early 1960s so crews could see over the larger freight cars introduced to service at the time. They feature a full width cupola ending at the edge of the car roof. The second design, an extended wide vision caboose which combines features of the traditional cupola and the bay window. Each is modeled with the appropriate style roof, stand ray or X panel, and with or without roof walks and end ladders appropriate to the prototype. Both versions arrive this spring. The Wide Vision Caboose is offered in Burlington Northern, Detroit and Toledo Shortline, GM, GM&O, Illinois Central Gulf, Norfolk and Western, Norfolk Southern, and Northern Pacific. The extended Wide Vision Caboose is available in CNO, DT&I, Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Santa Fe, Sioux Line, and a Masabi unit that would be an excellent addition to Consys featuring the earlier announced SD9s and Taconite ore cars. Time to switch our focus from operations to layout building. Our newest addition to the Cornerstone Engineered Bridge System is a 70-foot subdivided Warren Truss Bridge. This single-track bridge models a standard design built worldwide to handle heavier trains. The above-deck truss design provides extra clearance below the bridge while offering clearance for double stacks and similarly tall cars. Modeled with detailed girders and lattice work, the finished kit makes a good looking bridge that's appropriate for standalone use or in combination with other bridge components as a center span. Add it to some of the Walther's Track Code 83 bridge track and you're well on your way to adding an outstanding new feature to your layout. Next up is the perfect complement to the Warren Trust Bridge if you're using Code 100 Track. Now available in Code 100, nickel silver bridge track kits from Walther's Track models 150 pound rail as used in heavy traffic and high speed lines. Thanks to custom formulated nickel silver rail, each set enjoys outstanding electrical conductivity. The bridge track set includes one 36 inch section of bridge track, two bridge track end pieces, and two end piece filler ties. For those laying their own track, the bridge track end set includes just the two bridge track end pieces and end piece filler ties. Both will be available this winter. Remember all those contemporary freight cars we announced earlier? Well, our next structure gives them all a branch line industry to serve. Expand or start a new modern industrial park with the HO scale steel warehouse kit from Cornerstone. Large rail-served steel structures of the type 
offer options for alternative operating destinations on your layout. With two rail and four truck docks, the kit provides a hub for over-the-road activity as well. Details such as a high-efficiency furnace inlet and outlet pipes, gas and electric meters, roof vents, and heater stacks add a lot of believability to the structure. The kit retails for $79.98 and arrives this winter. Our next two kits should help you feel at home for the holidays. Built by the thousands after World War II and still a part of neighborhoods today, our new ranch house with an attached garage kit is an excellent addition to HO scale subdivisions. The kit includes several different small details such as non-working porch lights, a modern mailbox, and separate gas and electric meter parts. Additionally, each kit includes two different front walls with alternative front door positioning and two different entry door styles and picture windows so it's really easy to customize or build multiple distinct looking versions of the same house. Built in an earlier era, the East-West Bungalow kit represents a traditional two-story craftsman design seen all across North America. Thousands were built from 1900 through the 1920s and are still lived in today. It's an attractive HO scale home with shake shingle siding on the upper story, a detailed dormer, and welcoming front porch. Both are set to arrive this winter and make excellent additions to layouts set any time in the last century. Leading away from these homes, our final announcement provides excellent ground cover in a variety of scales. New flexible dark red brick sheets from Chooch are perfect for modeling vintage sidewalks, station platforms, walls, or streets. They're hand cast in super detailed flexible vinyl and are backed with a peel and stick permanent adhesive. By design, they offer adaptable installation, easy to cut and customize with water-based acrylics. Three types of brick in three different sizes each are available, patterned after wall brick, herringbone brick, and paver bricks. Arriving this winter, each sheet measures 3 and 3 quarters inches by 12 inches and come two to a pack. Thank you for joining me today on the Walther's New Product Express. Everything you've seen here, this entire cavalcade of brand new products is available for pre-order at your local hobby shop. For more information, go on over to walthers.com and be sure to sign up for our e-newsletter where you're going to get product information and brand new announcements directly to your inbox each month. Happy holidays and we'll see you next year.